Wow, we're already on part three of my mom is great series. And that went fast, huh? Uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys for all the comments about my mom. And I was hoping to have the series done before she left us, but uh, that didn't happen. But she knew I was doing this and she was very happy and excited. And that's all that matters. You guys were awesome. You guys totally got me through the heartache and all the pain and uh, you know, it's still there, but I'm telling you, the comments you guys sent in were amazing. Thank you from my heart. I really mean that. All right, so bring you in close now, and let's uh, share my mom's recipe with you. And don't worry about it. Recipe's down below. All right, here's the ingredients. You have, obviously, soy sauce. You can either use, you can use any brand you want. I grew up using this one, La Choy, uh, but most of you probably are familiar with this brand here, Kinkoman's. I can't stand this brand, but I'm going to make it today with this brand so that you guys can get the, uh, the amounts down below. I'm going to give you sugar amounts for both of these. This is a little sweeter than this one. So this one's going to require a little bit more sugar. Once again, I'll explain it all down in the directions below. So whatever soy sauce you use, the sugar level might change just a little bit. Uh, quarter cup, half a cup, just to give it the right sweetness. Okay? So the four ingredients, soy sauce, garlic, minced garlic, and chopped onions. You can use fresh onions if you want. Uh, I'm using dried because they spread. For me, they spread easier. If I use fresh chopped onions, they stick to some pieces of meat and not others. And obviously white sugar. Okay, you're gonna start with a, a cup of soy sauce. You can always uh, double the recipe if you want. I always mix in the pot because I'm lazy. I don't want to do a, uh, any more dishes than I have to. Okay, so you got it right in there. Gonna put your white sugar in there. Put your onions. And then however much uh, garlic you like, I'll put the standard measurement down below. Put that in there too. And then you're going to mix this up in the soy sauce. And the way to know it's fully mixed is there's no sugar at the bottom anymore. The, the sugar all dissolves. So it's all done. All right. It doesn't take a lot. Now here's what you do. Let's bring the meat over right now. Okay, now this meat, this isn't the only meat you can use. I always use the beef ribs. Uh, there's also, you can do this marinade with uh, beef steak. Okay, so if you want to do that, there's two types of ribs that my mom used to use. The generic short rib. This is usually a long piece. It's cut into like three or four pieces and it's got a real, it's got a bone base and then it's got a chunk of meat on top about one to two inches thick. Okay, and then she would also take the uh, beef back, the long uh, ribs, and she'd get a rack of those. She'd cut those up and these are the two that uh, we normally would put into the uh, marinade. So let's do that right now. You can also marinate in Ziploc baggies if you want. Put this on a Ziploc baggie. Um, I'm doing the old fashioned method like my mom always did. Richie put them all in a big pot. Then she throw a lid on top. <laughs> no lie. We used to do this as kids. Except when I was kids, I'd let go of the lid and soy sauce would go flying everywhere. That's how you do it. I'm going to wait 40 minutes and then I'm going to take this out to the grill. I can't wait to show you what the final product looks like. It's going to be awesome. All right, so we just got done marinating for 40 minutes. We did a little shake and bake, brought it out to the grill, grilled it up. Are you ready? Take a look now. Look at that. Still piping hot right off the grill. Unbelievable. Let's put these off to the side. Let's give you a... You can totally see when ribs are done, the beef ribs, you get that long bone sticking out and all the meat starts to pull back. Let's get all the ribs out here. Okay, you can really see on the short ribs... You see how the, the bottom pulls back a little bit there? 
Yeah, absolutely perfect. So that tells you they're done. You can also cut into them if you want. I don't like cutting into my meat. I like to let it set for a few minutes so it can all juice up again. Give it a few minutes for all the uh, juices to solidify inside the meat. We don't want it all to steam away. Look at that one right there. That is like the perfect looking rib. Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, dripping all over the place. I don't care. Mmm. Meat. Okay, real quick before I try this, I just want to let you know, next week I have something special going on. You need to go to my Facebook page and like the page because something big is happening over there and it's a part of the show. We're going to try something new next week. I can't tell you what it is. Uh, be watching. I'll be doing a short video on Monday to give you all the details. And you guys are going to basically... Oh, I almost said... I can't, I, I can't tell you. So go there. All right, so ready? Now here's what I want you to do before you leave. I want you to imagine holding a warm rib in your hand, okay? <laughs> it's the closest I can get to smell the vision. Ah, oh, smelling the teriyaki and biting in to the sweet and salty mixture of marinade. Mmm. Oh man. Can you taste it? Can you taste that rib? You need to go make this. I love you, Mom, and thank you for this recipe. Now it's on video. We have it forever. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. Mmm.